get bad and welcome back to the channel uh we're back in xcom again i think my mic and everything is set up fine now uh make sure that i'm not still muted with the game everything, everything seems balanced it seems like the game is loud enough when it needs to be and then moments like this where it's just them standing around just background music you can't really hear it so it's fine overall i think i think i'm i got everything set now so i'm happy with all that we did go ahead and buy that thing um we're gonna edit. well i guess we can just put it give them to him when we're gearing up to go so the lyrium and minus two unrest in this area or we're gonna go to four secret stash which is gonna give us more money this is gonna give us money as well as give us points towards the investigation which we're gonna need because there's no we can't sustain this the way that this investigation has gone up for six days but what we can do is we can freeze the district as well which i want to i'm going to freeze this district because it's going to push up to four and we don't need two districts at four right now i need to bring this one down too so i'll do that in a second freeze that district this one is going to be fine for now and we're going to do this one two days towards the operation reveal on minus two unrest and plus 35 credits which is going to give us enough to buy that new pistols those new pistols as well Great Phoenix can't abduct aliens without a headhunter. Someone who pre someone who presents them with candidates to grab. They just set up the meet with their top headhunters. Go for a live capture if all po if at all possible. If we're going for a live capture, I think I do believe that means Shelter is the one who's gonna take a shot on them. Shelter has the shrink rounds, so that's what we're gonna go for. Uh there's something else I needed to set up. An assembly, that's what it was. Remembered that because I paused it, went back, listened to the audio. That's how I know it sounds pretty okay. But not even pretty okay pretty damn good new microphone mixer all that just takes a second to get used to although i thought it was three videos i think it was like four uh enhanced we don't want more breach explosives now i want to upgrade the med kits we take a lot of damage right now so an upgrade upgrading med kits is going to be useful for us especially um yeah because of how much damage we take send apc forces need leadership to function if authorized by the director you may need to neutralize a hostile leader. Subduing your target is always preferred. Enemy leadership, if captured, provides valuable intel. I think that's how I want to do it. He shoots second most just because he has that shotgun doing a lot of damage. And his abilities give him extra shots. So he's going to need that anyways. Um, overall, well, well, no, I mean, what well, we really would. Anyways, overall, though, I think we're doing pretty good. <laughs> um, many patches specialized med kits designed for reclamation squads can recuperate quickly before pressing on. I think many patches is one of the new things that I got, which I do want to grab, right? Ceasefire grenade, many patch. So, this is for the breach. So, yeah, many patch is something I wanted to buy. So it means that 30, oh shit, that costs way more than I thought it did. It means this 35 is going to be as useful as I once thought it was going to be. But who doesn't do anything during the breach? You don't do anything at all during the breach. Like during the, the planning phase of the breach is what I mean. So you'll get that. We'll go ahead and launch this. It's a one, one encounter mission, so it shouldn't take too long. I'm trying to keep my videos under like the 30, 40 minute mark too. That way they get suggested a little more this chemical plant disrupt it but to make some faster to uh edit and upload Ooh, good thing we got that all non-aggressive enemies guarding this entrance will be surprised first you know through this entrance will be rooted for one turn that's gonna be fine it's better than taking that plus one damage at the breach for sure and he has claimer detonates a powerful charge rupturing all enemies near the breach point usable on a wall break point uh once you use permission so rupturing means that they take more damage. We spend the time last uh, last season is what I'm going to say. First season of XCOM, the first playthrough. Figuring that out. You have a medi patch, which won't mean anything. But you have a hollow scanner and you have your scan as well. I'm still going to do both of them just because why not? It couldn't hurt. It probably Bearing won't hurt to use both of them. I don't know how that's going to work when the wall isn't blown up yet. He throws this thing immediately. So yeah. What's 85 looking like? You're marked. If we shoot you and hit, we might kill you. Cool. Next up, everything in here is a hundred percent. Can I hit the faceless? No. But if I hit them, I'll kill them, possibly. So that's what we'll go for. Didn't get it. 
That should be fine though. I believe that's the adder. We have adders and pythons too. I want to try and get that right. So I know they all look different. What do you, what do you alert for? I'm gonna shoot you. Critical shot too, that's pretty good. Let's see if we can get this faceless out of the way because they're, especially with us grouped up right now, they're gonna do a lot of damage. So we have managed to take them out. That's our guy. He's trying to get to the other side. For an exit. Capture if you can. Okay, they give us a guy who's going for the exit, who's standing on the exit already. So that's real helpful. First things first. Uh, shit. There's a civilian in there. Shit. I think. Damn, this is gonna go off before anybody's turn too. So I really can't do that. I'm going to team up with Patchwork. Because I don't want to kill the civilian. I'm pretty sure it's going to be an issue for me. Uh, if I take out the civilian by mistake. But I do want to drop this right here. Confirm. Throwing shrapnel. And then we're going to take a shot on... Whoever we have the high, what's number three looking like? Number three, we have a seventy-eight percent chance to shoot them. What's number four looking like? Number four is our highest hit, so let's go for that. And you can clear them, clear them out of the way, go. You're safe. Go. and then move right back. So that that all works out. This bomb's gonna go off before they get a turn, and we can put her and cover right here i believe is safe i was gonna come up probably yeah bite him like the of that. what do they get mobility increase and dodge increase that's gonna go off doing some decent damage to them and who are you gonna go for i'm trying to use a melee attack or are you getting like extra close demolish that's only gonna deal damage to the to the, okay me. all right do you need some help okay I'm gonna move him right yeah I'm gonna move him right here Stepping out. He's not burning. Oh shit, he's not burning. So I should I could have just shot from where I was. I didn't actually have to move him for any reason. Um should go for someone who's where, where is where are you at in the turn order? Do four to six damage with this shot or do oops. Got the hostile. Keep didn't mean up. to do that one. That's annoying. I think we lost we probably lost you a bunch of intel from that. Honor. He still can't move I'll either. There's another me. issue. I tried to click over to this the normal fire so it wouldn't do four to six. It would do uh you cannot keep do? Me two down. to four and hope for a low roll. Actually, I think even at a high roll at that point it wouldn't have uh killed. Can Claymore move yet? You should return the favor. Oh wait, I can relocate with my guy in the far corner no i can't see him here all right who have the highest chance of hitting take this adder out just use some do really you can drop another bomb over here Okay, that will deal damage to patchwork now but honestly honestly though Throwing like explosive. honestly i think she can take it she's Keep a big girl um yeah she's a big girl she can take it she can take the shot should have moved him probably instead of staying where i was but ooh, forgot she would take extra damage okay let's see what you got you got dead eye on him 46 damage 68 percent chance to hit 
we did manage to land that we use dead eye again or we can just use subdue so i'm gonna go for the subdue actually right here you're under arrest cool and then those two are going to be taken out by this explosion cool like i said patrick can take it she's a big girl and that's this encounter done i did accidentally kill the uh the hostage that we we're coming here for so that's a problem the head under wasn't pre pre present presenting candidates for abduction the data gray phoenix received at these meets were voluntary requests to be taken in this trafficking ring doesn't add up interesting so it's people looking for shelter and not people just and they're not being kidnapped so it's not abductions it's uh what's the word abduction inductions i work in a vertical farm making bolt pulp from some of the few plants sectoids can eat it's a big change the skills you learned in the resistance don't always apply what's the expression when all you have is hammers everything gets a nail what was your hammer grenade launcher whoa <laughs> <laughs> i wasn't expecting that one from tales of defiance a living history of resistance networks i don't even know what the resistance is necessarily i think it's like parallel to xcom but not exactly on the same side if if i remember correctly i watched a lot of he's the one who enough of this it's time you confess i can quite literally see it on your face what about my face upsets you it heats up when I'm around. I know anger when I see it. That's uh, not anger. Yeah, the opposite, in fact. What is that supposed to? Oh. Oh. I didn't. I... It's fine. I didn't want it to come up, make things strange. You didn't. I appreciate your honesty. I should go. Good. Good. Now I can die of embarrassment. Ooh, Shelter's got a crush. Ooh, did I leave the effects on? Yeah. Shelter's got a crush. Uh, that's hilarious. Welp. Seems like this never ending cycle of having to have people lose their. Actually, nah, fuck that. Zephyr, go ahead and get your second conditioning in. Yeah, and get that extra health. That's what we need to start doing instead of just funneling them in to get the scars fixed and then putting them back in the team right here we're gonna put him in since we only have one person with the scar it doesn't matter to to uh to immediately get it clean we can take the time to actually make our team a little stronger now we're still at zero intel because we didn't manage to take enough hostages to get any back as well as accidentally killing the person that we were supposed to bring back with us that was on me my bad misclicked anyways though in the armory we have some promotions to look into claymore has a promotion uh, the sticky grenade. This is what I've been waiting for. Claymore throws a grenade that adheres to an enemy, causing them to fall back to a new location. When the unit stops running, the grenade explodes. Four turn cooldown, instant turn. Yeah, that's a solid move because of uh, like forcing the enemy to move around, basically. What you got? You got phase lance. Blue blood fires the lancer pistol in a straight line blast. The shot ignores lines of sight and is unaffected, and is unaffected by cover. Uh, blue buff fires the lancer pistol in a straight line blast so this is like a laser pretty much from his pistol so that's pretty cool uh patrick sends the gremlin to place target into his stasis for one turn the unit cannot take cannot attack but it is immune to all damage can be used in allies and enemies stasis field has a two turn cooldown so if i had this in the last mission i could have ran uh I could have ran Patrick in to save that civilian so they wouldn't take damage and then put Patrick herself in stasis and then she would have been protected from the explosion as well as being bound by the enemy. But it still found, seems like it doesn't matter since he was gravely wounded, didn't get a scar. This dude was relatively unscathed compared to Patchwork and did get a scar. So, you know, interesting stuff going around. Uh, she's in here. We're only at 14 minutes. So it seems like these missions are flying by. But I also don't want like incredibly long episodes again. But okay, so we definitely need to get this in. So like, there's no question. We haven't used the, We don't use Illyrium as fast. Local thieves keep robbing automated trucks, transporting rare and valuable alloys. A local manufacturer offers a reward for each recovered crate. Cool. 
Uh, we tracked the stolen alloy and provided the information to 31PD, who made the bus. The manufacturer has rewarded us for our assistance. <laughs> All right. How do you inject so much naive optimism into terrible situations? I'm Canadian, or I was when Canada was a thing. Canadian, Canadian. Right, the maple flavored kind. Did you say flavored? Hilarious. Mm, medallions of Canadian, fresh off the griddle. Please tell me you mean Canadian bacon. Of a sort. Wild. Apparently twerk ate humans, it seems. All right, well, shit, I could go. Come on, come on. I'm gonna do another mission. I'm gonna do another mission. This is gonna be a longer one. I'm gonna bring this down uh 55 intel so i can't really do much with that but we'll just hold on to it for now it's tuesday in the game this is gonna push it to wednesday and then thursday what does this give us this gives us a laser sight that's good but not good enough to go for basically especially over this one it's gonna start pushing into our city anarchy if we don't take care of it so we'll go for this one it also gives us some more money to buy the stuff that we need is this the same team it is not because we took out claymore since he has a scar you can get the expanded no you don't get that magazine because most of what you do isn't shoot you shoot more than she does actually he shoots the most because she might use her uh gremlin thing the whole mission nothing there breach uh ap no again you don't shoot that often if you have trank you have tracers you don't have anything you're supposed to have tracers so you will get the AP rounds and you'll get the tracer rounds. All right. Seems like we're ready to go. So let's get back into it. Oops. Target device is oh. active. Stop it as soon as you're able. So it looks like we have a bomb. I forgot to read the mission brief before we came in here. Operation Nucleus Engines does plus three damage during the breach. It's, there's really no reason to go here. Last through this entrance will have this weapon disabled. Last through this entrance automatically activates Overwatch after the breach. This one seems like the better option completely. We'll send him first. Use that. Shelter and then Torque. Don't bunch up. Still don't understand that scan because it always happens outside of the room that we're about to go to. Right, let's see here we can take out the dominator completely right now yeah let's do that yep you have a high chance to hit as well so we'll take them out cool and at this point it doesn't really matter who we hit hit it the adder I'm gonna go for the faceless though. Or I can try and get a dazzle off and disorientate everyone in here. I wanna do Dazzle. I wanna do it in an area where I think other people are also gonna be infected. Uh, infected, affected. Now you can use your poison spit. Not on actually. It's gonna do three damage there and then poison over time. Uh, doesn't seem like there's that much of a chance for it to crit. Let's go for that. Eyes on the target. Turn it off. Number two is the adder in the middle. We do have a land shot, which so this is what it's like, just a straight beam. And if you really line it up right, you can probably get quite a few people with it issue is i don't know how to zoom out necessarily hang on let me uh let me check some controls real quick cool so now let's see if we can line the lens shot up to where we hit two different people it doesn't look like we can it looks like everything's slightly off off the angle so that's that's fine Let's go for a normal dead eye shot on let's go for them they both have a 76 percent chance to hit and this is dead eye so to do bonus damage yep cool and now we can take a normal shot on i guess the legionnaire yeah, let's go for the legionnaire with this normal shot cool 
just thinking we have the bonus damage from uh having the better pistols uh we might have taken out that legionnaire completely just now now you can shock the shit out of this legion actually what's number two you're number four go ahead and shock the shit out of the legionnaire though that takes them out of the turn order all right i guess target weapon in sight sibling shot on oh his weapon is unaffected so it doesn't matter all right can he get over here he cannot relocate with them switching i probably should have just did the relocate from the beginning uh and then you can buy oops nope hit that too many times you're gonna bind them either way don't struggle but that just makes it uh 100 chance my name, so he, okay so we were negating his healing with the poison so that's pretty good i don't think he's gonna be able to make it all the way over to shelter so we should be fine who's gonna dash Bro, the way these things step over stuff is hilarious they step over stuff like how i step over fences like they slow all the way down just to do it and all that if this hits it'll kill okay that one's hit. On me. i know i've been there yeah Bro, i still can't believe shelter has a crush on zephyr that's hilarious i want to hear more about that i hope it develops more and doesn't just that leave it where it was <laughs> Moving. Tracking target weapon. I'm yeah, I'm okay. And relocate with the faceless actually, which pushes them Why further away position? from the enemies as well. Our teammates. But we're fairly clumped up. What the hell was that? Hello? <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Did y'all see that thing go flying that way? I'm, I'm gonna slow it down. It's gonna get replayed. I was fairly clumped up. What? For sure. Heading out. It was like groaning too as Directing it went. You. Uh, we can release the bind and just use subdue. Yeah, let's release the bind. Don't stray too far. And then use. Uh, and you subdue on them. Shame now we take them as a hostage and we'll get the bonus intel from them. Can I target that thing? Where's it? Yeah, it has it like behind us in the wall. Okay. I'll go, I'll go for the shot then. I'm, yeah, you see this thing teleporting around, but we got it anyways. And can we use land shot on him? We're going to hit a teammate? No. Okay. There we go. I'll take it. That's got to be you shitty too. That work. man just got hit with like essentially a laser cannon out of nowhere. And it came from a pistol too. So that's pretty cool. Definitely something that's going to be uh, pretty powerful, especially when the enemies are coming out of the same point over and over again. Like when we get an onslaught mission, they all start grouping up in a corner. We can land shot and deal a decent amount of damage straight through to everyone. I always hated Riverside. The people who lived there rode over for admin early into the occupation. Propaganda studios, propaganda studios relied on Riverside's locals to, for supportive sound bites. It's funny how quickly they changed that tune with, when XCOM won the war. It's different now, but I'd rather not give my business to people who are so willing to sell us out. Set a black town, a local guide to City 31. Zephyr has completed her basic training, so now she's completely set to go. Like she's done in the training simulation. Interesting why I thought of that when it's not a thing at all. And we have some promotions to give out too. Building? 100 years, give or take. Just needs a little elbow grease. And a whole lot of elbows. Yes, grease, because this place doesn't have enough of that. Okay. So if he's saying that this thing is over a hundred years old, then that makes me wonder how, like why we have this building then. And I can't remember, I don't know how long the war was, the XCOM versus Advent war thing. 
so that's another issue that i have too i'm still leaving shelter in because i don't know that much about him i think we're gonna leave it like this and have zephyr do some research now zephyr's gonna go in uh we can do breach explosives and get a ceasefire grenade we know we don't need to do anything for the android because it's weird and not that great like people have made mods to make the android better i could definitely get those mods but i don't think i'm going to I don't care enough about this one particular game to worry about mods for it. We don't need to get expert field teams yet because we barely, we don't even have all of the first levels and no second levels either. So that's going, that's going, well, that's empty. It's never actually gone. And then we have these upgrades to do. Upgrades, level, level ups, promotions, sheesh. All right, promote agent, uh, blah, blah, blah. Poison spit, torch spits. Out a blast of poison that explodes into a deadly pool, poisoning all units in the area and does a small amount of damage on impact. We done cooldown. So it's basically a poison grenade, but from her mouth. All right, shelter launches. A, oh, okay. Let me just read it from here. Shelter launches a psionic blast at an organic enemy, delaying their next turn. Does guaranteed damage and ignores cover and armor. Two turn cooldown. That's that's what I wanted to see. Like something, something like that for his psionics. I can understand that his teleport is a powerful tactical move, but I haven't found the real tactical ability yet. It's because once he teleports, like that's his movement for a round. But if you have to move to get into a better angle to use the teleport, it's pretty much you pretty much might as well not use it. Because at that point you're teleporting into either teleporting into enemy to danger or you're moving like a teammate for almost no reason. It would be good to like run a teammate up to get a good shot. Then have them take the shot and have uh oh I, I thought of all the wrong i thought of zephyr then claymore to then to have shelter take another shot from that same position so basically i have a lot of good ideas oh so far is a move that the other people have too i have a lot of good ideas for him it's just actually executing those moves i almost messed up my recording missing the uh that back button should just push exit all right, so we have crime scene uh, investigation and we have more money. We're going to spend money right now to buy the enhanced pistols. And what are we researching right now? Breach explosives. So we're going to need more money pretty soon. But I want to get that last bit of intel. Now we can start doing uh, reduce and city anarchy whenever we get to that point. And then start really looking into what we, what we want to do. As one or more field team at rank three. So we'll do this one through mpd called it's called a suspect fired a restricted weapon uh spirit of altercation blah 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 we looked at that one i think current investigation is tang tangential but it provides insight into how our opposition thinks so it has no connection gray phoenix is abducting aliens with highly technical skills engineers scientists and technicians Put an end to the abduction so these people can return to their families. It's interesting how those are still being leveled as, as abductions when we found out in the last mission that they're not. They're... Five years have passed since the end of Advent occupation. Life is vastly different for all of us. Human, alien, and hybrid alike. Where do we go from here? Are we capable of surmounting the many challenges before us? We'll explore these questions with a new program we call Profiles of Restoration. Each episode follows a person working to rebuild the planet and beyond. Give us a watch or a listen. We want to show you the world. Interesting how they're still being labeled as abductions, even though we know now that they're not. They're inductions. Like people are choosing to join Grey Phoenix. Grey Phoenix? Is that what we're, is that what we're doing right now? I don't think it is, is it? uh investigation oh it is great phoenix yeah we're investigating them but we don't have anything to really we have no reason to do this basically like it's people choosing to go join them so we're not saving people we're stopping them from doing something that they kind of wanted to do so it seems like it might be a breach of their liberties even though they are joining a team that we assume is bad right now uh next episode though we'll be taking this on so we don't gain any city anarchy I would be going ahead to be oh that would be nice that do i have can i freeze no i can't quarantine god damn an auto loader the auto loader plus uh 
uh blue blood would have been crazy but i guess i'll have to deal with that another time or figure or decide on it another time too but that's the end of this video thanks for watching uh don't forget to follow all my other socials in the description down below uh and subscribe i guess sub subscribe don't forget to, 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 to subscribe yes like the video subscribe follow my other stuff uh bye